Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about the, the Keurig Cafe machine that we got a couple of weeks ago that's really nice and how my boyfriend was able to put Braille on it for me to be able to use it and make special coffees and regular coffees. And then he also put some Braille on the, we have a pod holder for all of our Keurig K cups and they all have Braille on them for me to know which ones which also. So all of these labels on our pod holder, he, my boyfriend was able to print out on the 3D printer. So I'm able to tell that the top row is dark magic in all three of the slots here on top. And then the next row is breakfast blend. And there's labels for each uh, compartment and they all say breakfast blend. And then at the very bottom, at the very right is decaf. So it's a dark magic decaf blend. And then um, the two, the one in the middle and the very left compartment are espressos. So I know that those are espressos and not other coffee. So I'm gonna get an espresso out of the very left one here. It's a little, nice little pod. And then I'm going to place it in the Keurig. And then I'm gonna close it and it's gonna make a noise. And then I'm going to make an, uh, a latte. So there is this cup that's in the side of the Keurig machine. And I'm gonna pull it out of its little home there. And there's this little stirrer in the bottom and it's a little metal. Um, it's it's kind of magnetic. You, could, magnetic, you could put it on something that's metal, but um, it goes in there and it spins the milk that you're gonna put in your latte. And for somebody that is blind or visually impaired, um, sometimes people like to um, feel the milk. Like there's a line in the cup and it's a tactile line. Um, find it. I haven't made too many lattes, so. Oh, and um, so I can tell that the, the first line underneath the one above it, that one is for cappuccinos and then the very first one above it um, is for lattes and that's where I'll be filling the milk line to. And it has a nice little handle on it too. So I do have to get my hand wet, my fingers when I'm pouring it, but it's okay. Alright, I think that's about it. Yeah. So then I have these nice little flavors um, that I can put shots in. So I'm gonna add that to the cup because they're, it'll stir in with the milk. So I'm gonna add three squirts to this. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the lid on it. Then I'm gonna put it back in its little home area. So, I, for my memory, um, I didn't really ask for Braille for this part, but I just know that the top button does um, lattes and the bottom one does um, cappuccinos. And then the, on the left, there's just one button and that is like for cold drinks, but I'm not gonna push that one. So make sure the lid's secure. And then I'm gonna push the button, the top button, and that's gonna frost the, um, the milk. 
and the, there's some uh, flavor in there. And so I'm also going to start my coffee now. And this is where the braille is. So uh, the top uh, braille, the very top one is power, so there's a P there. And then there's coffee, and next to that is cappuccino slash uh, latte in braille. And then um, under that, there's, there's an S for strong. And then there's um, eight ounces, 10 ounces, and then brew is under that. And then there's 12 ounces and six ounces. And then, uh, but that, I won't be using those or anything. I don't need to push one of those to make the special coffee. But then the brew button is there. So you push that, if you were making a normal coffee, you push one of the, uh, the ounces and then brew. But I'm gonna push the um, cappuccino latte button. And then I'm gonna push brew. And if you would like more coffee than it provides um, when it's making the espresso shot, you can push it again and it'll kind of like make a double shot there. Also, if you want to make a double shot for your espresso, you'll need to open the lid where the pod goes and then close it again. Uh, just so it knows like, oh, okay, there's a new pod entered or something. So it, it'll, it just registers. And then I'm going to push the brew button again. And I'll make another one. So one thing, um, when the froth part is done, um, it'll beep. So you'll know that the milk is ready. So then I'm going to remove my coffee cup from the spot where it would be uh, to make the coffee. And then I'm going to remove the froth cup now, the warm milk and uh, creamer that I put in there, flavor. And then I'm going to pour the contents of the milk and creamer or flavor into the coffee. So here's my uh, pouring. <laughs> I like to, there's, there is a little bit of a lip on the, the cup, so I'm going to try and use that as a guide a little There's some froth, so I always hope it comes out, but... And that's the finished product. I'm going to taste it. Tastes pretty good. I really like this machine. It makes really good coffees and um, cap or lattes. I haven't tried cappuccinos yet. So this is the Keurig Cafe coffee machine. And it makes really good coffee, cappuccinos, and lattes. And with a little help from the 3D printer, I'm able to use it and identify all of the coffee pods um, with Braille. I hope you liked today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.